hey guys welcome to another code solutions today we'll be looking at how to create or how to use um, HTML files inside your Android application so that, that will mean that we'll be using um, an HTML file that we created and we're going to just be putting it inside our application this can be this can also use your your javascript files or your css files as well inside that same html file so let's start all right first thing let's name our application i'll be naming mine silverlight all right and let's click next all right we'll just select our minimum sdk and just go ahead click next all right, I'm going to be starting from an empty activity. So once again, we're going to be clicking next. All right, all right. So to asking us for our activity name, mine will be one. Well, I always name my um, first activity one or something like that, that I can keep um, track of it and see what's going on. All right, so it should be building our our um, project all right so it's going through it's building our project so this is very useful um, for those persons who know how to develop mostly in in HTML this will definitely be a good a good um, a good tool or a good method to use all right let me see if I can resize my Android Studio. Um, let's try to see if I can move it so that you guys can see it better. All right, that's it. So, all right. So, wow. So first thing we'll do is change our view and go to our project file view. All right. Let's, mini let's maximize this a little bit oh, so you guys can see it all right all right i think you guys can see this now so all right so now we're in our project files view our navigation let's just go over to let's say click on you should see this so click on app and once you're on the app you click on source that's src and then click on main all right so you'll be clicking on app clicking on source and then clicking on the main folder and in the main folder what you're going to be doing is right clicking on it click new and click directory and then we're going to be calling this assets a s s e t s all right don't call, don't just go there writing or typing anything you want call the folder assets all right now we go back to our android view so you click on the down arrow here and you go to Android okay whoops Android oh there we go Android now you should see a folder called assets down below your res folder all right we're going to be using that soon but until then let's go to our layout so click on res and go into your layout in your layout folder right click click next and click down to your XML and select XM, X, layout XML file. All right. You can call this whatever you want. I'm going to call this layout. All right. Should be building our layout. On second, on second, on, on second um, thought, let's not build that layout file. Let's use the same one we have from our activity one mine is called activity one so let's delete that one because we don't need it on second dot we'll just use the one that we had before so on our activity one xml you should see in your design hello world all right we don't need that so we delete that so just press delete and it will be removed all right what we will need however is our web view so scroll over to your your um what was that palette <laughs> i'm going to call it palette and 
search over and we're looking for a web view you could actually use the text view the text the text um way to actually edit it but let's just keep in design for all those persons who are not so familiar there we go here's our web view we click on web view and let's just drag it over just drag it over there all right let's resize it so that we can see a good amount of it so resize it until it covers the page all right okay and that's our web view okay so we have our web view now let's just make sure that it's wired up so let's change the id of this web view double click on it change the id to let's say web one i'm going to call my id web one all right let's go over to our java file so you can just click on it over in the java folder scroll down see your your um project your main project and then just we named my i named mine one so yours should be named something similar click on your java file you should see already your uncreate method right below the last line in your uncreate method inside that method you will just make some space and let's write a web web view object that's web web view and i'm going to call mine webs equal um, brackets web view it's web it's web view <laughs> web view not getting that that should be web view there we go capital w web view and find by i find view by id so you should have web view open and close brackets with web view inside it find find view by id r dot id dot and we called our resource web one so web one and you end it with a semicolon all right so now let's wire it up this is where the magic will happen hold on before we do that let's go right back to that folder remember that folder that we created that assets folder this is it go click on it right click on it the asset folder the same asset for assets folder that i told you to create click on file path all right when you click on file path you should see not seeing it I'm going to click on it again ah there it is you should see something like this comes up that says assets so you click on assets it open i'm on ubuntu so it will open this area if you're on windows it will do the same which gives you a direct view to where the where the, the the insides of the file is so you should have an html file or the html file that you already created if you didn't create one pause this video and create the h create a html file that we're going to be using so go create it if you don't have it already all right i guess you created your file already all right so we're going to copy it into that folder so i already have mine created so mine is called the page yeah i know very unique the page and i'm going to copy it inside my assets folder and i'm pasting it in there so we go back to our android studios all right that's it the page now let's go back to our java folder that we've been working on and let's just say the name of the object which is now webs dot and we're going to do this load url all right your url it should come up then we open quotes double quotes that is and we'll type this this is where the magic really happens file colon triple slash do not ask me why it's triple slash it's just triple slash and android underscore asset not assets asset and slash let's write the name of your html page so mine's called the page dot html all right that should be what we want 
and let's just for just making things a little bit better in case we want to load something from that page let's just add this is not necessary if you are not going to load anything from the page to an external research like an external URL or anything like that you don't have to put this if you're just going to keep to the local page that is stored inside your app but it's good to 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 add this so let's add the permission in the manifest so if you wonder where i am i'm over here in the manifest folder and we're still under the android view and i'm in the manifest folder so that's what i'm doing you don't have to do this step this is just me adding this step and i'm adding uses permission first thing comes up android internet and anchor brackets and it finishes itself you don't have to add this step this is just in case you want to load something from that page all right guys and let's just try out our app so we're going to be waiting on the emulator to come up all right just to show you guys that everything works all right my emulator is going to take a while i don't think it's going to take that long but it's going to take a while Hold on, they're telling me that we have an error here. Uh, 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 um, my emulator skipped a version. Let me see. Oh, this is the mistake. This should be Android. A N D R O I D. Android underscore asset the page. Now let's load it again. All right, we should have no problems with our app. All right okay it's going to load now and there it is guys that's our page this is the html page that we created offline and we put it in our app and we now have a web view to our html page all right guys um i hope this has been simple enough i tried to make it as simple as possible if you did not know this is the whole objective of this um this this channel to make coding simple to make it easy to make it easy to understand not that complicated stuff you see all over the internet that makes your head hurt your head is not supposed to hurt it's supposed to be nice it's supposed to be wonderful coding should be life so this is what it is and if you liked it and if it was simple enough um if it made life a little bit easier for you, give it a thumbs up, share it, tell people about it. That is what we do at this channel. We try to make coding simple for the average user. Okay. And that's it. Thanks for watching, guys.